Good morning, my friends. It's our chicken egg check-in on our most special day. Today is hatch day, day 21, May 19th. On day 21, the chick uses its egg tooth to break through the shell and it hatches. But the fun news is ours didn't wait. Some of them didn't wait to day 21. So as I sit down here and pan over, you will see an incubator full of sweet baby chickens. So, so far, friends, we have eight chickens that have hatched. Two of them are kind of black and brown striped, and you guys can't see it, I'm sorry. Let me get down here. Two of them right there are the black and brown stripey ones. Six of them so far are black, but there's two different kinds. Some of them have pink legs and feet. Some of them have black legs and feet. So we're still waiting on that first white egg that I'm a little worried about because it didn't break out the way it was supposed to at the beginning. And we also have one brown egg right here, which from this angle, I can't see that it's tried to pip out at all. But since today is our first day, the actual day when they were supposed to hatch out, I'm going to leave them in there and see what happens. So you can see that our chicks, <laughs> there's the other one, you can see our chicks are looking a little crowded in there, but they're totally okay. Because if they were under a mama hen, they would all be squished underneath a mama hen. And they hear my voice and they get up and they move. And then they're like, oh wait, we're tired and they lay down and take a nap. And everybody goes to sleep, just like that. So they are okay staying in here. They need to stay in the incubator and get warm and dry. They are able to stay in the incubator for up to 72 hours before they need more food and water. And if I open the incubator right now, remember all that humidity, that moisture that we put in the air, goes away really fast and it might hurt the other two that we are waiting to see if they hatch. So they are going to stay in here for now. Mr. Real and I are gonna work on the box that they're going to be moved into with their heater and their food and their water. And we will put them in there probably this afternoon. And I will totally show it all to you before we do it, and as we do it, and after we do it. Look at all those broken eggshells in there. It's kind of fun and ewy looking. If you can see inside that egg right there, do you see the membrane where all of the veins were running through there? We could see those veins through the light when we put them on the, in the little microscope, the candler. You can see how they zipped the whole top of that egg, so that top is right here. It just kind of folds back over. That one kind of stayed connected. And see, they're tired and they're sleepy. And they'll just stay in there snuggling, staying the right temperature, resting and getting strong from all of the work they did. One of them over here, really one of the stripy ones just hatched out this morning between the time I first checked on them, second checked on them, and then came back to do the video. Mr. Real counted eight instead of seven that I had first thing this morning. All right, my guys, I will send you some more videos all day long. We'll do some journaling in a while. Talk to you soon. Bye.